So with the launch of Season 5, a lot of you guys are probably looking to get that level up so you can get the most out of the Battle Pass, unlock the highest tier of the Mandalorian skin, or simply reach a high level in-game. In today's video, we'll be discussing how you can level up as fast as possible in the new season. That way, regardless of what your goal is, you can gain those levels nice and quick. Unfortunately, this new season did see the removal of some of the most useful XP methods, like punch cards, XP coins, and weekly challenges. Challenges. And it may seem much harder to gain XP this season, but in fact, the replacement for these methods alongside the other tricks we'll be showing you in this video should help you out a ton and you'll gain XP faster this season than ever before. And with that being said, let's hop into our first method. Let's get it. Woo! To start off our list, this is definitely one of the simpler methods, which is simply doing the weekly quest as they come out to gain the initial XP. If you don't know yet, there was a new tab added in your map section which shows all of your available challenges, also known as quests. These update weekly, and in all honesty, they're pretty damn easy and provide some really good XP. All you have to do in order to access this is head into a match and then into your map. From there, you'll have three tabs on the top, quests, map, and collections. Click on the guests, then click on a little XP button below there, which will give you access to your quest menu. If you take the time to quickly knock out these quests whenever you have new ones available, this should help you get quite a bit of XP really fast. As well as this, it seems at the moment, quests tend to regenerate fairly often. You may notice that when you're knocking out quests, new quests tend to pop up, giving you what seems like an infinite flow of quests to complete for some really solid XP. But bear in mind, while you're doing this, some challenges are limited in time, meaning you'll be limited to how long you can spend on them. So make sure you're knocking those out as quickly as possible as well. Overall, quests are definitely one of the best XP methods in season five, and we can definitely see them being a good replacement for challenges. Quests are gonna be one of the best methods to gain XP this season and are definitely worth knocking out whenever you've got them available. And don't forget, if you're looking to step up your game in Fortnite, make sure to hit up one of our pro coaches over at ProGuides.com. And be sure to go check out the new courses we released in a collaboration with Clicks, where he discusses some crucial stuff that helped him go pro. The second tip I have for you guys is for all those quests that are elimination based, as in they require you to get kills with a certain item or weapon or deal damage, anything along those lines. For these types of quests, your best bet is going to be hopping into Team Rumble, since you obviously respawn and can get better loot. This seriously makes quests so much easier, and as well as that, Team Rumble is really good at general XP as well, alongside the fact that it's so good for challenges. Moving on to our third method, this one comes in the form of a brand new addition in Season 5, Vendors. Vendors are NPC characters scattered around the map, and these guys can actually be the source of some really good XP. All you have to do with these vendors is approach them and pick any quest. Some of them might have something simple, like farm wood or get three kills with a shotgun, while others may give you more difficult quests with greater rewards. What we recommend doing for XP is to do this method sort of passively. Each time you see a vendor, try to collect their challenge so you can get them done alongside those from other vendors. These challenges can stack, so you can pick up a fair amount of XP from them all at once. As well as that, vendors tend to restock their challenges every few hours, so you can always come back and pick up brand new ones. Overall, these vendors are a really cool change for casual play and can yield some amazing SP if you start using them. One extremely simple method as well to get some easy XP is to simply gather forged items during your games. For the most part, forged items such as bananas, apples, and coconuts give you 25 XP each time you collect them, and it basically takes no time at all to do it. So overall, forged items are going to be a really simple strategy you can use either passively or you can go out of your way to collect them during your games and get some easy XP as a result. One pretty common strategy for this is to land at the orchard north of Colossal Coliseum and drop at the field that has a ton of cabbages. It's cabbage time, y'all! Woo! 
If you grab that whole field, it's an easy 800 or so XP, and it's something you can do in many of your games. You can also grab the apples here at Orchard, and even rotate down to the farmhouse, break the cornfields, and pick up the corn that comes out of them for even more XP. And backtracking to an earlier tip, you can also do this loot route, or any other similar one with forged items, in a Team Rumble. In a Team Rumble match, you run less risk of getting eliminated, and can also grab even more XP throughout the match along alongside what you'll be getting from the method on its own. That way, you can really make your time as efficient as possible. What we've discussed so far has had a pretty major focus on specific methods that you can use to gain as much XP as possible. But in all honesty, it can be boring at times to sit there and grind out quests or follow a loot route. That's why what we'll be doing next is going over some general gameplay strategies to gain easy XP. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now, your base XP gained in a basic battle royale match is based off of four things. Placement, survival time, looting, and eliminations. Quests are, of course, another method, but we're just talking about plain battle royale gameplay. You'll gain quite a bit of XP in game by simply staying alive. Staying alive, staying alive, ah, 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 staying alive, or gathering a few eliminations, which is also pretty fun too, bro. In this season, XP is rewarded every minute or so of survival time, making it really easy to gain XP by literally just being alive in the game. And it's also rewarded at certain placement thresholds as well. So one super easy strategy is to simply hop into a game and chill in one spot. If you're not really feeling like playing aggressive, it's a very slow way to play, and it's probably best if you're doing something else while you're AFK, but it's pretty easy to simply hop into a game and land in a tree or something, along the lines of that, to gather some easy XP. Like for real, dude, I will go AFK and I will just munch down on a burrito, dog. Maybe a little coconut water on the side. Ooh, fresca. But apart from that, Looting things like chests, loot crates, and supply drops give you even more XP. So whenever you can, try to simply grab as much loot as possible. Those little ammo crates you leave sitting around can really make a big difference and add up over time. Alongside that, simply playing the game normally is honestly not a bad way to break from the XP grind. Keep in mind that alongside your specific XP grinding methods, you can simply grind out the game normally and collect a surprising amount of XP, especially if you're looting well and racking up some decent placement points. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Finally, our last tip in this video is going to involve the playtime XP mechanic, and it's known as the creative AFK method. Oh. Sounds nice. This method is super easy to do and can gain you some really solid XP. All you need to do is start up a creative lobby, clicking create instead of play, and from there, just hang out in the hub. And, well, dude, that is it. Every 15 minutes in the hub, you'll gain 6,300 XP, which is honestly really solid for essentially no work. Dude, go get on Twitter, go drink some chocolate, maybe even pick up knitting, who knows? Maybe you'd be a bro who sews. Could be cool, could be fly, give it a try. One side note, however, is this only works for five cycles. So after about an hour and 15 minutes, you'll want to exit and requeue or do something else. But overall, this is a super easy way to gain points with essentially no work. You can even do it while you're working on something else, or even if you're leaving the house for a bit as well. We're assuming this method is probably gonna be nerfed or removed eventually, so be sure to use it while you have the chance. But with that said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's XP and level guide. As a recap, one of the most simple and efficient ways to gain XP in Season 5 is to start up some quests and grind them out. Quests give you incredible XP and are usually easy to complete, and they replenish quite often, so these should definitely be your go-to method to gain XP. As well as that, doing your elimination or damage-based quests in Team Rumble or just playing it normally can yield some solid XP gains as well. In addition, another easy way to gain XP is to talk to vendors who can give you extra quests or bounties, which is a really easy way to level up and really add some extra fun into the game. Alongside quests in Team Rumble, another super simple method to gain XP is to pick up forged items. Whether you're simply playing the game and run into some, or if you want to take a specific route, like Orchard, so you can specifically run into these items. 
And finally, there are some simple methods you can do during Battle Royale games, like looting as much as possible, going for placement, or by just playing the game normally and taking opportunities to get XP when you run into them. Double double finally, for some extra point gain as well, it's worth trying out the creative AFK method, since it really doesn't require any work and can get you some serious XP if you give it enough time. But with all of that said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video on how you can gain XP and rank up quickly in season five. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe for more of the best Fortnite tips and tricks around. We're pushing closer and closer to 1 million subscribers each and every day, which is honestly insane, bro. I am stoked to be here, guys. Please tell your family and friends, tell your granny, tell your uncle, tell everybody 1 million subs by Christmas, y'all. Hit me up. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.